Now, let me make something clear to Mr. Trump and his hatchet men and the special interest funding his attacks against me. I'm not going anywhere. You're not going to destroy me, and you're not going to destroy my family. All right, welcome back. That was former Vice President Joe Biden there at a rally in Nevada this week. Biden arguably delivered his most passionate rebuke yet of those attacks on his family and his son's dealings with the Ukraine and China as well. But it's Biden's defense. Is it really just a cover to a weakening 2020 campaign? Let's take a look at the third quarter fundraising totals for the Democrats. Biden is in fourth behind Elizabeth Warren. Bernie Sanders and Pete Buttigieg. And by the way, Bernie Sanders' campaign just released a statement confirming that he did, in fact, have a heart attack. Uh, meanwhile, Biden's campaign raised $22 million in the previous quarters. Rejoining us, actually joining us now for the first time, is Jesse Jane Duff, retired Marine gunnery sergeant. Great to see you, Jesse. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks, John. Yeah, I, you know, I just want to get a reaction from you real quick. You know, we talked about Bernie Sanders earlier this week. His campaign just released a statement saying he had a myocardial infraction, which infarction or whatever it's called. But that's a heart attack to you and me. That's what we, we would describe it. Um, <laughs> meanwhile, Joe Biden might be having a, his own heart, you know, issue because of his campaign totals. Uh, very low. And he's in fourth, port, fourth yeah. place after the past quarter. Another sign of a dying campaign. You know, it's really embarrassing to see that they've got these men that are not what I would call healthy to be on the campaign trail. We're seeing a lot of, and, and you know, I don't wish any pain or suffering or health issues for anybody, but this just doesn't come across well. The campaign itself does demonstrate your level of stamina, your acuity, your capability of landing on your feet quickly, and this is just dragging along. And Joe Biden saying, I'm not going anywhere. You know, really, Joe, I don't think you're going to have much of a choice, you know. With this whole investigation coming up, the problem for him is it's a, they may be trying to impeach yeah. Trump on what he was exposing about what? Joe Biden. Joe Biden right. is getting exposed for some of his nefarious dealings that go years, if not decades, back. Right. Right. Yeah. And, you know, what's also very revealing about this whole situation, Jesse Jane, when you take a look at all the Democratic candidates and their fundraising totals and you combine them and then compare them to the total reached by President Trump and the RNC last quarter, it's literally half. You take a look right here. Well, maybe not literally oh, half. Gosh. My math's not great. You, you know, President Trump. And I think what's also, I think, underreported about this whole situation is when you compare 2020 to 2016, President Trump did not have any support at all from the Republican National Committee. Mm -hmm. He has that support now. And yeah. he didn't have nearly the amount of fundraising that he has this time around, which means he's going to be much more formidable and much more organized in some of these early states as well. Oh, yes, he's come out swinging. In the past three months since he announced his uh, reelection, over half of his donors have actually been women, and the average donor is $40. So he's already surpassed half of his, elect uh, his campaign raising from the 2016 election. So when you look at the numbers, bottom line, small donors. Now, Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders thrive on small donors. They want to refuse the big corporate donations. They want to look like they're all, you know, we're for the little guy, that kind of thing. And yet Joe Biden, on the other hand, goes after those big pocket donors. So you've got kind of a contrast there on the fundraising, but yet Bernie and uh, Elizabeth Warren have $10 million more in the bank than Joe Biden. He's at 15 something million and they're at 25 and 26 respectively yeah. million. So you're looking at a big contrast between them, but I think Joe Biden's luster is gone. Even if this whole thing blows over with Ukraine, which is not going to, we know this because his dirt is getting exposed day in and day out. You've got a president that is throwing bait at red meat at the media so they can run around like Mitt Romney. Ah, you're talking to China. He didn't talk to China. He threw that out there because he knew it would make you all have a conniption. He says things Jesse, just to agitate also, them and make them show their cards. And I think also when you look at the accusations being thrown at them almost every day, Biden, Trump as well, but you know, Trump stands there, gets them treated into a corner. And when you look at that and you kind of compare the two head mm -hmm. to head, you kind of get what you might interpret would be a preview of the 2020 election. You think Biden looks weak. Oh, absolutely. When you're looking at this, I look at it like a boxing match. Biden's over there complaining about how hard he's getting hit 
instead of punching back. He doesn't have a leg to stand on, so to speak, because honestly, how do you explain this whole uh, experience that went on with the Ukraine and your son profiting at $50,000 a month? The average American is thinking, I don't even make that a year. You know, our average median income in right. many parts of this country is just $49,000 a year. I shouldn't say just. That's still good money in many parts of the country. Here in Washington, D.C. now, that wouldn't be because our cost of living is so high. <laughs> it's all relative. But, you know, you're just sitting back and you're watching this. And it's like, Joe, what is the explanation? You did fire right. that prosecutor who was investigating your son. You can't you debate that. Right. And, and I think I think that's another thing, too. Regardless of how wrong you think what either men did, you look at the way they handled President Trump doesn't try to explain what he did. He just says he did it. He doesn't. He says there's nothing wrong with it. You don't want. You don't want to be in Biden's position to try and explain this because there's no way you can explain. I think to the average American why your son would get a contract for fifty thousand dollars a month with no expertise in mm -hmm. that particular field. I just don't think that'll fly, and it's not good for Biden either. Jesse, come back with us. We'll be right back. We got to go to a quick commercial yeah. break.